time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Test it, trade it, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live on a Wednesday, August 30th. Almost the end of August. Hopefully Power Hour can take us home the last couple of days. Uh, it's been a good day for Zero DTE overall. Hit both profit targets on the AM. Hit all three profit targets on the Dick K special. Uh, I've got a PM Iron Condor on currently. That is getting close to hitting 40%. It's currently trading at 14. I need a couple bucks. It's trading at 14.65. I need it down to 12.75. Getting closer. Need to buy some longs for tranche one. Uh, we've also got our buddy Rick on. He's been kind of dancing around the break even and in the valley all day. And currently down a little bit. A few more points will get up to the break even. So we could still have a successful Rick and a successful power hour. And it looks like we're going to get a straddle. As of right now, it would be the 4515 straddle. A little bit of a, a little, little bit of a, a light crowd today. Everybody's scared off from Power Hour. Get a little drawdown, and everybody's scared away. Yeah, pretty quiet day overall. Let's see. I forgot to mark my expected move. We opened at about forty-five hundred. Is it? About 21. Yeah, so it looked like it tested the upper expected move, I guess. Yeah, bounced off the upper expected move a couple times. All right, so looks like the 45-15 straddle for tranche one. Give it another 20 seconds or so.
4515 straddle, trying to get in at 770. Filled at 765 for tranche one. Our old friend, the straddle. Not your friend, Kelvin. Three in a row for tranche one, huh? Didn't realize that. Let's make it four. I need just a little more decay on my PM. Mauro, you already hit 40%, huh? I had the, uh, I had a five point wide strikes. You must've been wider, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, you had 45 of five, 45, 20. So you're 15 wide. Were you doing $3 credits? My Wednesdays for four. So that was only five wide. Yeah, I was just curious what, why you were 15, three. Okay, got it. OG P2H. There's been a few songs about Tim Weiss posted today in the Zero DTE channel. If you haven't, if you haven't caught those, they're good. <laughs> Vegas Michelle started it all. So she's the one to blame. Crane. Cranes was he put some he put some effort into that one. That was good. All right, so we've got a, while we're waiting for tranche two, we've got a, uh, got a time fly that I'm most likely going to close here by end of day, unless we get a little down move. We're kind of in the sim same situation as the one that we closed at yesterday. We're beyond the, we're beyond the call strike of the, of the adjusted call calendar. I don't really want to add another one reposition it we're not really getting much profit in that as of right now a couple two three hundred bucks so 
we're down about mm, we're down about fifteen percent. So I don't I, I just don't want to risk a bigger loss if I mean this market just feels strong going into a holiday weekend. Just don't want to fight it. So probably just close it, take a uh take about a 15% loss unless we get a little down move. If we if we push back down to the you know, around the call strike, around 4,500 by chance by end of day. I'll keep it on, but otherwise I'm going to close her out. Close down a nice quick uh, CL short strangle for a quick 30% of max profit. Our gold reverse hedgehog is doing nice. MES, our short strangle, it's... Uh, Close to 50% on the puts. Got in at 34. Those are currently trading at 18 and a half, so not quite to 50%. ZS, I checked this earlier. I don't think we're quite to profit target yet. Let me double check again. Oh, it's closed, so can't do it. All right, 40% hit on the PM iron condor. Nice. QQQ, you could take that off early for beak profit if you want. I'm going to hold it just in case we do get a little quick reversal. Rut is getting to the point where we could take that one off too. Very little chance of getting back to the duck head. Let's see if we can get beak profit on that. Wow, did, not a rut. So Got to post that in the Iron Duck channel. tried earlier and it was not not hitting so that's good all right just posted that in the duck channel we've got another spx duck in the uh, set 14 That one looks like it may fill too, where it wasn't earlier. Let me try that one. Just skin some ducks here in power hour while we're waiting. Yeah, no, that's still trading at five ten. I'd want it. I want to. I'd want to get out at five bucks or less. All right. Well, let me just try. Tried this morning on all these. Yeah, it looks like it's trading at 505, 510. So I will cancel that.
Looks like I'm sharing strikes on my PM iron condor. So I'm going to move that over. A little push up in SPX. So my trunch one I got in at 765. So if we get down to 460, I'll reduce my stop on trunch one, but with a straddle, it's gonna be a little bit. Take a little bit longer. Did a B and B earlier. It's already up a couple, couple hundred bucks. If we were to get up to eight eighty. That would be ten percent. It's currently trading about eight thirty. So it doesn't look like it will, but possible. Put on a new TGIF today. Well, this little push is helping our buddy Rick. Rick is now profitable. I've got my 30% at 1660. He's currently trading at 1330. All right, still got about uh, six minutes before trunch two. Marthinus popping off 40% on P2H, nice. Wow, already calling for the magnet.
Oh, never mind. That was for the two P2H. Got it. <laughs> I thought the power hour magnet was already coming out. I was going to say it's a little early for that, my friends. VIX down three and a quarter, down below 14. Mm-mm-mm. So it had such high hopes in the 17s and 18s and almost 19. It's gotten crushed. Crushed, crushed. VIX in the 12 handle is just not that fun. All right, a few minutes until tranche two. Buy my longs for tranche two. Longs are locked. Looking for the closest to three bucks on each side. Could have a five point straddle, five point strangle. 20s and 15s, maybe. A low premium five point strangle. Price pushes up. We're going to have a straddle. Give it a couple minutes, see where it settles out. All right, what do you got here, Dick K? Whenever the VIX closes below the BB, what's the BB? Oh, the Bollinger, Bollinger Band. Got it. VIX closes below the Bollinger Band on daily chart. Usually see a down day the following day. I found it very reliable. Yeah, no credit. Zero. <laughs> nope, not buying it. <laughs> I'll bet you. I mean, it's a 50-50 wager. What do you got? Name your price. It looks like it might be the 2015. Give it another 30 seconds or so. We get, we get in tranche two, then we'll settle this bet, Dick K. Guess we're going to do a low premium five point strangle.
trying to get filled at 405. Filled at 405 for tranche two. Yep, 50-50 bet. Yeah, exactly, Moro. I'm ignoring the Bollinger Bands because <laughs> that's what I do. I ignore stuff that doesn't work. I ignore stuff that gives you a 50-50 probability. What are my odds, Dick K? And what's the wager? <laughs> two to three done what's the what's the bet how about this What's Florida known for? Seafood? So I, what, here's, here's a bet. I'll send you Kansas City barbecue. I think, uh, I think it's um, Jack Stack Barbecue does. They, they do shipping. They deliver. So I will send you Kansas City barbecue if I lose. And you find some kind of Florida hurricane to send me if you lose. <laughs> All right. I like seafood. I like any kind of seafood. All right, so just to be clear, we're talking about the SPX has the SPX has to close lower than it closes today. Is that your Okay. All right, Dick K, it's on. Me versus the Bollinger Bands. Let's go. Yep. If SPX, we'll 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 stay on here till the end. We'll get the we'll get the final print of SPX at the end of today. And if SPX tomorrow, at the end of Power Hour closes lower dick k wins i mean i hope he's right to be honest i hope he's right because i need some red but but i'm uh i'm pretty confident in my bet regardless of the outcome <laughs> <laughs> No hedge. I'm hedgeless. I mean, it's basically a win-win for me. If I get red, I'm probably going to make some money on my positions. So it's going to pay for that barbecue to send you.
Yeah, I think it, I think it sent, um, I actually did this with a buddy of mine in Boston when the chiefs and the Patriots were playing each other in the AFC championship. And we, he lost one year and he had to send me crab cakes from Boston. And I lost one year and I had to send him barbecue. I think it, I think it's like dry ice or something. I don't know. He said it was good. There you go, Dick K. Find your find your uh, morsels of choice. But wait till tomorrow because you don't want to get ahead of yourself. I get a little pullback in SPX. We get ready for tranche number three. And look how close these five cents are. All right, so for tranche three here in a couple minutes, looks like it might be another five point wide, 15, 10. You still have some DKS open? A uh, 45.15, 45.10 strangle would round out my little profit bubble here. Looks like it might be 45.20, 45.15, getting a little bounce. Actually, it might be a might be a fifteen straddle. Twenty fifteens, twenty fifteens. Give it another minute. All right, 2015s it is. Three sixty five. Filled at three seventy. Filled at three seventy for tranche three. Forty five twenty calls, forty five fifteen puts.
All right. 45.15 is the sweet spot. Forty-five fifteen is the sweet spot. Still got half my PM on. Eighty percent would be four twenty-five. It's still trading at nine bucks. Tranche one. I'm looking for 460. It's currently trading at 580. I better get that price plotted on my chart. So tranche one was 15s. There we go. So looking for 460 on tranche one to reduce stop. It's currently trading at 570. Vic K, if I win, are you going to stop using Bollinger Bands? Can that be part of it? Yeah, that's the point of the bet, Krish. <laughs> you driving? Are you going to just pop in on your private private jet? I like it. Timmy W just posted plus point one point nine five percent on the day. Nice. What would have to happen to, for you to stop using Fibonacci's? What, what, what could, is there anything that could happen that would make you stop using Fibonacci's? <laughs> uh, that's great. Good, good, good. What about ticks? <laughs> I'd love to take it all away from you for a year. I think you'd I think you'd do better.
<laughs> That's true. I think the machine would be even more well oiled. All right, Rick, a few points out of the profits. He needs a little push up after we get out. I am, however, going to close the time fly. All right, now we need a little bounce. Just a little one. <laughs> Mauro, you can you can hold your time fly based on Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Band's course that's coming soon to a theater near you, but it's a fictional movie. Just, just so we're clear. Tranche one down to 525. Still looking for 460. I better pay attention to that. Tomorrow morning, 
be on the AM live stream. The debut of the morning jingle is coming your way. So tranche one. I'm lowering my stop to seven sixty. If price gets down to four sixty. So are we expecting a big sell-off tomorrow or just a little one? Just a down day. All right, I'll take it. Uh, elegant Scorpio, that's not how I trade that strategy, but you're welcome to do as you please. Tranche one, saw 490, looking for 460. So Dick K, are you are you short some S and P futures then? Tranche one still hovering around five. I need about 40 more cents. Four ninety. There's a four eighty five. SPX catching a little bid. Four eighty. Four seventy five. Four seventy. Right there yet, needed to bounce back up another point.
or just sit around. About 20 minutes till the bell. Just watching tranche one here, still trading about 480. Need it down to 460 to reduce my stop. Four eighty, four seventy. Four sixty five. And I saw four sixty print. So reducing my stop down to seven sixty on tranche one. All right. All right, anybody else want to make a bet? <laughs> I like action. I need action. It's a good bet, Booga. I'll take that too. I'm on that with you. So just to be clear, the Bollinger Band is that purple thing, right? Right. Yep, that's a lock. Lock of the century. I 
I feel good about my bet. Hey, Landon, can you make sure Dick K has my address? All right, let's just get a little bounce here. A couple point bounce into the close. Got about 10 minutes till I exit. By the way, I was doing some more power hour testing today. And I think I'm sticking with the stick, uh, the fixed stops. I mean, even, even over this, you know, from even over this uh, last month, even, you know, from like June through to date, fixed stops, they still, they still do better. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick it out with those. Now we're getting a little bounce. Eighty percent on my PM is at four twenty five. That one's still trading at seven thirty. So I got a little ways to go for eighty percent on my uh, PM Iron Condor still. So tomorrow's the 31st, so probably tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe maybe Friday, Chris. If I can get it together by tomorrow. It's that new job, Meech. That new job's killing you. You need to do something about that. It's distracting you. Actually, I don't think Meech is on the uh, on the Zoom, so we can say whatever we want about him. All right, a little over ten minutes. Yeah, I'm getting close. Orders at 425. It's trading at four. Well, 
Well, it just jumped up after that little drop. Trading at 490. Getting close. There we go. AM ratio is gone. Eighty percent. All right, almost time to bail here. A few more minutes. Tranche one, I'm going to put at two bucks. I need a bounce. You're going to want a little bounce into the next couple minutes. It's trying, it's trying. No, it's not trying. All right, almost time to exit.
Build at 410 on tranche one, 360 on tranche two, and something on tranche three. All right, so tranche one, oh, getting a nice bounce now. Tranche one got in at 765 out at 410. Nice winner. Tranche two in at 405 out at 360. So small winner for tranche two. Tranche three in at 370 out at 360 and 335. So small winner. Decent little winner. All right, now we need Rick to rip. Big rip out of Rick. I need a uh, 4518 to get into the green on Rick. Well, five point bounce. Continuation on that little bounce. Still got a few minutes. Yeah, great day overall. Winner on the AMC, AMIC, winner on the DKS, winner on the PM Iron Condor, winner in Power Hour. Only loser for zero DTE is Rick. And it's not over. Never count Rick out. He still might have some for us. Two and a half minutes. Back up near 45.13. There you go. Get on up there. Get on up. Anyone is still in the uh, power hour tranches. Should be coming in real nicely. Talking to you, Elliot. He's silent, so that means I think he is. He's busy working his orders in Tasty Works right now. Forty seconds. Right back up to that sweet forty five fifteen area. Above 4516. Look at Rick. I better get my Mick, my Rick meme ready just in case.
4515 on the nose. Look at that. All, all power hours would have been a there he is. Nice. You got a lot of contracts there too, Elliot. Very nice. That might be bigger than yesterday. All right, Dick K, 4515 is the number. Awesome. All right, my friends, we'll be streaming live in the morning for the open with the new morning jingle. And we'll be back for Power Hour tomorrow. Have a great night. Take care. Chat with you soon.